honey, I'm alive. Welcome home, Ripper. Mwah. Did you have a good day today? Did I have a good day? Honey, I had the best day, if I do say so myself. Oh, really? That's great, dear. Tell me all about it. Well, you are looking at the Warlord's new favorite murder. Yeah, it looks like old Eagle Eyes is a real sharpshooter. Oh, really? Well, Eagle Eyes, how is it you're such a sharpshooter at work, but when you come home, you miss the toilet every night? Oh, hardy har har. Well, it's because at home, I don't have to worry about somebody slicing my throat at the drop of a helmet. Well, how can you be so sure about that? Oh, honey, because after all these years and everything I've put you through, if you haven't killed me yet, you're not going to. That's true. But I'd still sleep with one eye open if I were you. I didn't even tell you the best part. Not only does the warlord think the world of me, he invited me to have dinner with him tonight. <sighs> Dee, this could mean the world for us. Think about it, if I get in good with the warlord, Never have to worry about food, water, or gasoline again. You can finally leave this small cramp dump and move up camp to a deluxe dump. <laughs> Think about it. Mr. Ripper. General Ripper. Well, Mr. General Secretary of the Wasteland Interior Ripper, you know full well my mother is coming to visit tonight. And you promised us that you would take us to the death match. And you missed my birthday because of a raid. And then, and then we missed my anniversary because you just wanted to go on the cargo hauler because it would mean big things for us. And I chose to forget those days. Yeah, well, turns out your memory's a lot better than you thought. Yes, it is. Just like last week when you promised me, oh, my dear wife, I promise nothing will stop me from taking you and your mother to the death match. Well, this is something. I want you to reschedule. Reschedule? Dee, if I don't go to that dinner, I might become dinner. I'm sure he'll understand. <laughs> he'll understand? Yeah, he'll understand. Oh, he's totally understanding. Dee, the Warlord wants Ada Man's face for looking at him funny. Well, that's understandable. Dee, the Warlord is blind. Look, Ripper, either you take me and my mother to the deathmatch tonight and be by my side, or I'm leaving tonight with my mother. I don't know what I'm gonna do, Slasher. If I don't go to that dinner, I could lose my position in the Horde. If I don't go to the death match, I could lose D forever. Look on the bright side, Rip. If you don't go to the death match, you might lose D forever. But at least, at least you don't have to see your mother-in-law anymore. <laughs> and I'd rather be in the death match than deal with that monster. Slasher, let's be honest, either way I'm doomed. Yeah, I hear you. It's not like you could be at two places at once. <laughs> Slasher, that's it! God, are you kicking me out again? No, 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 Slasher. Being at two places at once. You're a genius. I'm gonna go to the deathmatch with D, then you run interference, and I go to dinner with the war chief. That way I'm back in time for the execution. It's foolproof. Then, why did you think of it? Get out. Get out. Now, go and get dressed and meet us there. And remember, this is the big one. Well, if you get caught, D might take your small ones. Get out. Out now. Get out. Okay. Woo! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much for taking us to the deathmatch, Ripper. I haven't been since my father took me. Yeah? How was it? Great! He gave me popcorn and let, let me sit on his knee so I wouldn't have to sit in the dirt. He did. Sure did. Right before he got it hacked off. He was such a generous man. Sure was. Unlike some people around here. Oh, okay, okay, here it goes. Let's just, let's just get it out, all right, so that we can enjoy our evening. Get what out? The idea that the lazy, good-for-nothing blob my daughter marries barely takes her out of the shack? Or that his head is so full of big ideas, it's a miracle he can walk upright? Or, or that my ghoulish mother-in-law would lose her own head if it wasn't shoved so far up her own ass. All right, okay, listen you two, we came here to have fun, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Woo, death match, yes. death match. Fun, fun indeed. Attention, attention, what a Mr. Rip River, please deport your vehicle. You're parked in a red zone. Oh, that's weird. I didn't see any signs. I, uh, I should probably go check that out.
Slasher, how'd you get them to make that announcement? <laughs> Easy. I just I just moved your truck into the red zone. <laughs> oh, I uh, think they're towing it right now. <laughs> you what? How am I supposed to get to the dinner? Thought of that, Reaper Boy. Here you go. What is this? A unicycle I was able to borrow from that kid over there. Idiot, this is a unicycle. How are you supposed to get over there? Simple. I got a second seat. <laughs> I am so sorry I kept you waiting, sir. Please don't kill me. Ah, oh, it's okay, son. I don't mind. I'm just sitting here alone with my thoughts. It's kind of relaxing. So you're not gonna eat me? Well, normally I would, but but lucky for you, I, I just went vegan. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I, I only eat my enemies these days. Well, thank the gods I'm not the enemy. Well, yeah, well, we shall see about that, huh? Let's chat, Ripper. Uh, yes, sir, I hear you. You have a wife. Uh, well, yes, yes, sir. As a, as a matter of fact, I do. <clears throat> yeah, well, did you, did you hear that uh, I lost an eye for my, uh, my, my wife? Really? Yeah, it was uh, her birthday and the war she wanted me to lead a raid. And I, but I told him I couldn't because I was taking my wife to a, a barbecue and, well, he said I could go, but I'd, uh, I'd have to give him one of my eyes. Yeah. And what'd you do then? Well, yeah, without hesitation, I asked him, left or right? No, if I would. If you don't mind me asking, sir, how'd you lose your other eye? Oh, well, well, after I left, I, I wandered bleeding and half blind through a sandstorm. I came across ravengers and scavengers and murderers and wolves on that trip home just to, to get to her. And <laughs> guess what? What? Well, I was late. I was just five minutes late. And, and she stabbed me in the frickin' face. Oh, man, she was one mean woman, one of a kind. Sir, could you excuse me for just a second? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. You go right ahead and, and take your time. I, I'm never gonna stand in the way between a man and a woman. Uh, uh, pardon me, Mr. Uh, Ripper, sir. You have a call waiting for you. <laughs> Shut up. Boy, I hope he tips good. Oh, yeah, good luck on that, sucker. <laughs> Dia. D? Sending your position. It's getting lonely down here. Things I've been up to. 